say about something, and it's, it's just come out in the last few weeks. In the last year and a half since they've had these scanners in, and now they're going into uh, hundreds and hundreds of airports, they had lied and said, we're not saving any of the images and we can't see your genitals. Now they admit they're saving all of the scans with your name, and they're going in federal and state courthouses, and they're scanning children, women, everybody, and saving it, and they got caught lying again. I mean, how many times does the government have to get caught lying? I mean, well, why the, well, the problem is, Alex, is even when they're caught lying, it's the government investigating the government. There's a, ma you know, we can agree to that. There's a major conflict of interest when the government investigates itself. You what? know, we need to have some lawmakers set up something, which is few. You know, you good luck on this, but we need some type of independent citizen organization to start to when 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 something the government does requires them to be investigated. Why should they be investigating themselves? That would be like Alex, if you and I were out in the regular world, and you committed a crime and they arrested you. And you got to say, well, okay, I get to lead the investigation of me, though. You know, even though you've arrested me and you realized I've committed this crime, I will lead the investigation of myself. Well, that's like Al Capone being the judge at his own trial. Exactly. Good way to put it. Governor, speaking of uh, foxes guarding the hen house, what's your view on Wall Street uh, now being given immunity for all the things they've done in the Federal Reserve, setting up this private board in Congress, passes a law saying that they get even more power out of the crisis they created. Well, it kind of reminds me of when they gave immunity to Blackwater in Iraq. After they slaughtered a bunch of innocent citizens in a big street shootout, Bremer goes over there and signs a piece of paper that Blackwater is not accountable for anything they did here. So I guess you could view put Wall Street and Blackwater in the same sentence now. They're both receiving essentially the same benefits. Well, that's almost like diplomatic immunity with yeah. the United Nations where these guys, these UN diplomats get caught having sex slaves, raping people, yeah. killing people, shipping drugs in, in, in a diplomatic pouches. Well, it's, it's, it, 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 but yet we can learn from it because uh, I also read a great book on the, uh, the wit and wisdom of Keith Richards of the Rolling Stones. And you know what Keith did because you know Keith was always getting busted over in London, right, for everything he did? And Keith drives a big, huge Bentley. You know what he did, Alex? He took two foreign flags of the same country and stuck it on the front bumper, the front fenders of his Bentley. So whenever he'd drive around London, the cops would go, it's diplomat car, let him go. <laughs> no, is that brilliant? No, no, that's a great point. But, but, but <laughs> that, I mean... way, that way Keith could get away with anything he wanted to do and no one would arrest him because they thought he was a diplomat. Weren't you a bodyguard for the Rolling Stones? Yeah. 80, 78 and 81. Yeah, well, I was a bodyguard for all the bands, not exclusively the Stones. I, I'd had some knee surgery, and a friend of mine said, you want to be security for the rock and roll bands? He was part of the uh, uh, production company that brought them into the Twin Cities. And they said, we need bodyguards to protect the rockers when they come to town. So I not only did the Stones, I did Springsteen, Foreigner, Grateful Dead, uh, Marshall Tucker. Uh, I can't even remember all the, all the Bob Seger. I did, I did uh, during that period of time, I probably did every great rock group there was. You got to see the show for free and you got even paid a couple of bucks, so it was a, it was a fun time. You can't beat that. On a lighter note, earlier I was talking about how much I like the movie Running Man and how your character is my favorite and I also love you in Predator and everybody else you know, thinks you're the best in Predator. But you told me about another ending uh, of that movie that the public isn't aware of. Well, they're, 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 no one's aware of it now because I'm sure it's been burnt, gone, and but they, they shot two endings to it, and they, uh, if you remember The Running Man, my character really got lost. Uh, my character was never resolved. After I killed Arnold on screen, that was all computer generated, and was false, of course, because, you know, our Arnold, uh, you know, didn't die in the film, naturally. Uh, my character was lost from that point, and they... Uh, they just left it that way, which which is kind of unfulfilling in a way, but they shot an ending where uh, in the end when Arnold sees, uh, uh, who's the co-star, Maria Conchita Alonso, when they see each other and they walk forward to each other, they had a point where I would drop down from the ceiling and I've got Arnold dead in my sights. I can kill him deader than hell. And, and it looks like I'm going to, I squeeze the trigger, but two guards come in behind, I shoot them, and then the three of us walk out together. Captain Freedom ends up with Arnold, 
because as you saw during the involvement of the film, I tend to decide I grew to more towards Arnold than the Stalkers because of big, the big showdown I had with Killian when he tried to give me all these gimmicks and I said, this is a code of the gladiators. You know, this is bullshit. This is, we have a code. And man, I've been killing man, guys like this, this with my bare hands. Yeah, I don't need all this crap. Yeah, and through and so and he says, "Get out of here. We'll just use the computers." Yep. He said, "Get out of here." And so he, he, in essence, fired me. But at that point, my character was lost. And we see that same theme when uh, the the other big bodyguard, security guard, won't won't protect uh, Gillian when he says, Gillian. "Aren't you going to do something?" And, and he said, "I have to go score some steroids." Yeah. Yeah. This Sven. Well, you know who Sven is, <coughs> don't you? Yeah, he's in the Conan movies. No, Sven was actually for many years Arnold's bodyguard. Oh, really? Yeah, so Arnold would always put him in the films. Sven, if you look at just about every Schwarzenegger film, you'll see Sven somewhere. His real name's Sven Ole Thorsen. Great nope. guy, you know, big, brutal power lifter from over in Denmark. And sure, but that was my point, is that he is one of the uh, you know Norse guy, uh, guys in uh, Conan the Barbarian. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, you will see, well, he's in Predator. Think about it, Alex. Where did you see him in Predator? Where? I don't remember. He's in there. Sven is in Predator. What scene? Like in the early part when they're at the base? Nope. He's one of the Russians at, at the thing we overrun. Arnold kills him. Yeah. And he goes knock, knock, and opens up the door, and boom. And remember, Sven's in there with the papers, and he shoots him. Sven's also the guy that shoots the helo pilot in the head. Remember when we're back and we haven't hit him yet? Yeah. And you see him drag out the pilot, and boom. Shoots at that spam, shooting him in the head. Hi, this is former Governor Jesse Ventura, and this is the Alex Jones Show. I recommend you all pay attention to Alex, because Alex and I are teaming up again this fall for a second season of Conspiracy Theory, where we will attempt to get to the bottom of these conspiracies. Until then, keep watching and listening to Alex.